hand cam. Yes, this is a sleeve cam, pretty much. Pretty much just, yeah. Camera pointed down from up there, there. The prophesied made hand. I mean, I've done these before. If you haven't seen the VODs and stuff on the channel, feel free to go check it out. But yeah, pretty much we got some stuff here. I got Legos. This is actually a really old one, funny enough. This was back when Lego Marvel was still called Lego Marvel Superheroes. So yeah, that's how old this is. Okay, this might be the first time for some new viewers that, yeah, sometimes on these streams we do segments where I pull out the live action made, and yeah, pretty much we build. Yep. Yeah, I mean, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not that antique. I don't know how long the Lego Marvel Superheroes brand lasted before it became just Lego Marvel. This is like one of the recent sets that came out. But yeah. The Ranny figure. Are you not talking about that over there? Like this? Right. Hold on. Right, 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 right there. Yeah. I am still waiting for the Nendroid to come out, honestly. This is that's just some figure that I bought off of SD. It's nice. But yeah. So I'm gonna open this up. Actually let me get a light in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right. I, I keep forgetting to turn on my lights. So yeah. Let us begin. I probably should grab a pair of scissors. I ended up decapitating Spider Man's head right here. Rip. <laughs> okay. That's okay. I was gonna throw this away anyways after fully building. I swear, I don't see enough poly bags nowadays. Like, do these things even exist? Do they? I don't, I don't know. Oh, can't let any pieces go flying. That would be bad. Keep it all piled up. This thing only has, uh, I should probably mention, this thing only has uh, 45 pieces, and it's for ages 6 to 12, I, uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh yeah, right, they still got the instructions. I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't understand how children can handle small pieces. They'd be breaking the law. Eh. You know, I feel like I, I could say something, but I feel like you customers could take it out of context, so I won't. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so check this out. Okay, this is actually pretty neat. So, apparently, the instruction booklet, you open it up like this, and it's like, oh, first thing you do, build the minifigure. Wonderful. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. We got the torso. I don't even my camera's too blurry if I try putting putting it up. Okay, and then get the head. Honestly, his eyes are probably big on this. Oh yeah, because apparently I, I know why the eyes are big. This is based off the ultimate Spider Man. That cartoon that came out after Spectacular Spider Man. And not many people were of a fan of it, like me, because, you know, Spectacular Spider-Man was cancelled because Disney bought the rights, and sadly, that came to a cost, with Sony having to give up the animation license or whatever, I think. Feel free to fact correct me on that, but yeah, I think it was something about licensing where Disney was only allowed to do the animated stuff, and so they purposely made a show that wasn't Spectacular Spider-Man, because apparently they wanted to be a bit different, and what they pretty much just created was just pretty much their own, like, Avengers and Spider-Man, or Spider-Man and the Avengers. That's what I saw Ultimate Spider-Man as. It was way too many... It's pretty much just Spider-Man and many friends, that show. I I only like binge like half of half of a season. Oh okay, here's the blue legs. Oh yeah, this one also was before they had like bottom leg printing, so they could only do like a base color stuff back then. Yeah, that actually changes over time with the newer ones, so yeah, this is cool. 
You got your classic Spider-Man right here. I love it. Because they keep it so simple. Design and logo. I like how we need instruction for putting together a Lego man. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I never noticed that. Hmm. Oh yeah, I notice, but maybe because I sometimes like to check out the newest LEGO sets that come out every now and then, and they've evolved. They finally added like leg printing and stuff like that, and yeah, pretty much. The legs used to be just a single solid color like this. Alright, let me check out the rest of the instructions. Do I have to unfold it like this? Or does it flip? No, I, okay, oh, oh, that's neat. Yo, props to whoever came up with this instruction manual. That is actually really cool. Open it up like this. Learn how to build it. Like that. Steps 1 to 9. Alright. So. Uh, yeah. Education stream. Eh, I guess. Alright, so I need like two of these pieces to put right here. Okay. And... I should have really separated the pieces. That's like a smart thing to do. I put this little Spider-Man right there. Uh, oh, there's a clear piece. Alright, okay, there's like two different types of grays. We got the lighter grays and the darker grays. I gotta separate these two pieces. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, wait until I do like Gundam model kits again. There we go. Mm -hmm. It would be simpler if I just merge both gray colors. Yeah, smaller piles. Go. Right. There we go. Sorting complete. Yeah. Alright, where are the pieces I was messing with, though? Uh. Oh, did I not put them? Okay, I probably. There we go. And I need to add this one right here. There we go. And then I have to add... I think it's one of these pieces. Oh, it's, it's this one right here. Okay. There we go. Done. Oh wait, hold on. I messed up on the instructions. Okay, it goes down. Okay, I need to open this up one more time. Let's have this like hang by the keyboard. Yep. Alright then. So. Blue block right here. Wait. Okay, yeah, just right up there. Like this. Um, am I missing a 2x2? Two two? Oh, they wanted me to put a 2x2 two two in the second inch. I missed that. Okay, my bad. Yeah, like, the thing is, they don't point out what pieces you need, so I have to, like, really observe the illustrations. Okay, so got that done. I will need these. 
and right here. There we go. That, that looks good. And then we're finally doing the wings, so wait. Okay, so from here I have to actually put these two together. And then, wait, do I connect it? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, it's I'm off by a single piece. My bad. There we go. Okay, and then that last piece right there. Alright, and then at least it gives me the sign to flip it over. Have this facing this. But then, wait, what do I add? Flip it over and, okay, I gotta add two more pieces. So these last two red bricks, gotta add one right here. Come on. Wait, does that make sense? Hold on, let me add the, oh, I accidentally snapped this off. Let me add this, yeah, let me add this right here to keep it secured. And this right here. There we go. Come on. Okay. Uh, I'll be surprised if we actually we'll probably still have some leftover pieces. There's always leftover pieces. And then wait. Okay, you add these blue disc at the bottom of these. I see. Yeah, these things are just pretty much just so they could actually slide on the table. And over time, they do wear wear down though. So don't grind it like on sandpaper. And then we have, uh, wait, oh, oh, okay, you're supposed to, uh, at least it tells me I need to do two of these. So I've got to put this in the arm and do that times two. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's another one of these arm pieces? Wait, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. All right. Not bad. And oh wait, do I have to? Oh, I gotta hook it on with this facing upwards. There. And there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then flip it over. Oh, okay, and then I have to add this thing on this. <clears throat> Hold on. Water. Ah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. And so, apply that right, right here. Yeah, on one, one layer of the studs. Or is that two? No, that's one layer. Alright, and add these. Uh huh. Also, I have to apparently add these on the side. So, leaving two studs open in the middle. Right? Yeah, okay, I am right. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Apparently, gotta flip over the Legos. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. What was this? Okay. So, apparently, while this is still facing this way, I gotta put the window in the front. And then I gotta add these on the side? Yeah. That works. And then add... Wait, oh, I have to add this piece in the middle. 
Okay, and then I gotta add the handle. Oh, and wings. Or little flappy flags, I guess. Alright. Oh, and then, oh, you got to make the torpedoes. Also, I missed these two blue pieces right here. That are supposed to go at the edge of the wings. Yeah. Looks like some sort of, like, spider diver or something. Honestly, it's like something you would take underwater. Like, uh, underwater, so yeah, I don't know, something about the arms, just make it look like that. Uh -huh. Alright. That is looking really good. Look at that, it spins. I'm having way too much fun with this than I should. Oh okay, yeah, I gotta make the missiles. And I'm surprised, this thing has like one extra piece. And apparently right over here on these sides there's supposed to be missile launchers. Or I guess web launchers, because yeah, it's white at the tip. Yeah, okay. There we go. Check that out. Whee. That's great. Fully done. Fully built. <laughs> I should really stop spinning this thing. It's too fun. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, that's, uh, I don't even know what this thing's called. What do they call this thing? The Spider-Man Glider? Which is, you, you, you know he ha used to have, like, those web gliders on his arm, and that's how he gl just glid. Hold on, can I make him, like, hold on to the sides? Uh, hold on, can I make him grab onto this? Even? I feel like I'm going to break the arms or hands doing this. Eh, it kind of works. Eh, it kind of works. I kind of wanted to have him on the side. Because, like, you're not really standing when you're, when you're probably on a glider. Like, they're probably, like, on, right up here. Yeah. In fact, actually, you know what? I have a better idea. How about we have him... I even have him grab up here. Like, you know, make it look like a Breath of the Wild type glider, honestly. Oh, that would have been cool. I, I would have liked that better, honestly. Like, actually, you know what? Maybe. You know what? I can maybe strap him on. Yeah, actually kind of works. Kind of. Look at that. That That's actually better. You know what? I like that. I like this. I like this better, honestly. This looks cool. It reminds me of the Vulture, honestly. Yeah, look at that. That looks way better than what was supposed to be where he stands on it. I, this is, mm. Mm hmm This looks way better than doing this. Okay. Anyway, I'd rate this Lego set, like, I don't know, like a 4 out of 5, 3 out of 5, I like it, it spins. Alright. Honestly, I might, can I, oh, he can't stand, because for some reason, the Lego piece refuses. It's not as flat. Maybe if I put it on the other side. Ah, oh, darn, I can't. Oh, eh. oh, I thought I had it. No, it actually stands. There we go. Let's try the other way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dang it. it. Stands. Look at that. Wonderful. I don't need these instructions anymore. All right. Now we're now we're gonna level up. Hold up. Yeah. All right. 
after this, we're going to go from something a bit more bigger. So it's actually kind of funny now I think about it. We finished Spider-Man and his spider glider. And now we got Miles Morales and his uh, Miles Mobile. <laughs> and Mobius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah, I can give your customers a look at this box. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like how clean the box looks on this. On the side, you can get some illustration work. A good look at the minifigure. Well, it's not a good look on my camera, but still. And yeah, logo on the side. So yeah, overall, I, I say this box designs pretty much a 5 out of 5 for me. Also, yeah, you notice this one's based off of Marvel's Spider-Man. Which one? I, I don't know. The one Disney owns, like, probably. Uh, oh, okay, that's weird. I usually expect these things to be in the middle, not here. And for those who don't know, actually, I don't even know. Most of the time, I'm just, like, opening up the sides, but you can actually open it up by just poking your thumb right through this. And then, what do you do next? Oh, okay, it's a double. Ah. Okay. Is that how you're supposed to open it? Oh, I guess so, actually. Okay, so you do open it from the side. There we go. Okay, this one's a bit more complex. We're gonna get this piece mixed in with the others. Is there stickers? There better not be stickers. Okay, the good. There's no stickers. Okay, we got like two pieces of this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, cool. That's even better than stickers. In fact, I don't even like stickers. Why am I saying that's better? We got some cool blue looking webs. Alright, and this is going to be the second box. Okay, so I'm going to quickly. Sorry for the crinkling. This is like right below the mic. Alright, let's open this up. In fact, let me actually check. I I gotta say though, this this looks so simple. Like I don't have the other instruction booklet on me because I tossed it, but you you look at this. This is like what what's with this background? <laughs> it looks so simple. I ex I expected them just to copy what was on the box, honestly. That's what they usually do. But yeah. Alright. So, yeah, first one is the first... I like how they actually break it down. First bag is uh, Miles Morales and half of his bike. The other half is Morbius and the other half of... What is it? I'm at my car. Alright. Uh-huh. Check out the bag plus the extra web pieces. This is... Should I, put, I should probably put this box out of the way. Because this is the reason why I ended up having to clean my desk, just so it wasn't too cluttered. I would actually have room for pieces. Yeah, it is pretty neat. Alright, let's get this out. Come on. There's a single piece stuck right here. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna have to clean my floor later. I'm just tossing these bags and boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna also need from this part, I'll just keep the rest in the bag. Come on. Do I need one it okay, I need like one of these and one of these. Okay. This one and uh what is that one? I think that's one of these. Alright. I'll move this bag a small piece of the side. Let's actually build the minifigure himself. Okay, let me actually build Miles Morales. 
we recently, or not really recently, but a couple months ago we played the PC port of his game. Pretty nice. There we go. And I need the legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the legs. So yeah. Uh, I'm guessing they wanted to keep it simple with this. So I, I don't know if he had, I don't think he actually had any red. No, I don't think he did actually. No, yeah. Apparently only his gloves were red. But yeah, I gotta say. Pretty good minifigure, honestly. Like, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm guessing this suit is pretty much just based off his comic book design compared to like any of the movie versions. I haven't actually seen uh, the new Spider-Verse movie yet though during the time of this recording. It comes out digital in like four days I think. But yeah, I didn't get a chance to really go out to the theater. Okay, so I need like... Oh, I need those tiny pieces now. Mm. But yeah. Like, the only time I bothered to actually take, like, two buses to a theater was when they had the one, one day airing of Shin Kamen Rider. That was a really great movie. And I got the chance to watch it again because it came out digital. So that was nice. Definitely a good movie I'd recommend you customers check out. Mm hmm. Okay, so, okay, I see, so it's like, this is like web holder, hmm, so wait, how am I supposed, to, okay, so I'm supposed to connect the stud, and then, I, okay, I see, it's a, I can poke the hole through this, neat. And then, okay, and then we apparently attach this at the other end. Okay, oh, and then you attach the, okay, I see. Really? That, that seems so loose. Are you sure? Or am I not doing this enough? This feels so, look, look, this, this feels, this is so loose. What? No, that's gotta have been a mistake in the instruction. It feels like I should have done it the other way, though. Yeah, that that gives me a tighter fit, but oh, these two sides are tight in. Huh. Yeah, I don't know about this, honestly. Let me try the other web piece. Maybe that one will work. No, looking at the instructions, it looks like... Hmm, maybe. Yeah, this one just feels like a ba this is bad uh, placements. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. Doesn't look like it. I'm following the instru- Oh, oh, you need to add another stud. Oh, I missed that part. Okay, no, that's my bad. I, I was just being a scatterbrain for a moment. Never mind. Late night maid craft. Pretty much. Welcome Eve. Okay, okay, so you're supposed to put a stud and then oh that just adds a bit okay, that locks on perfectly. Wonderful. But yeah. There we go. That is pretty long. Yeah. Look at that. Actually, can I shine a light onto the camera? Check it out. I have no idea if this is helping the camera focus. Maybe not. But at least you can kind of see it a bit better. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, there you go. That's interesting. Honestly, I like it. Way different than the white webs we would get. Mm -hmm. 
I like how they have a little star design right there. That's neat. It's like, voila, you've done it. Created the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Alright. So, now I need this really unique looking piece. That's not it. I should have sorted through my pieces, I know. In fact, do they even have that reminder? No, they don't have it anymore. They used to have it in some other Lego sets. It was like, oh yeah, sort your pieces by color. And yeah. Anyways, not bad. I can easily sort through these. But just when it comes to the bigger sets. I put this on my lap. Yeah. Then things will get a bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. But I think for now, these are just good warm-ups, I want to say. Mm. There we go. Okay, so there's one blue block I'll just leave right there. All these tan blocks can go together. It's a bit of a... I see a little bit of a darker tan and a lighter tan. So I'm going to just put those together still. And, uh, yeah. Not many yellow pieces. Put that right next to the red ones. And yeah. Okay. Still need to find that one piece. Oh, it's a dark gray. Okay, that's why. I couldn't find it. Okay, and then I need like uh, these dark tans on the edge sides right here. Very nice. Okay. And then... What is that? Okay. I need the <clears throat> same color as this. At the bottom. <clears throat> hmm. oh. Finally, this piece comes into play. There we go. Hmm. Who are these? Uh, oh, do they cross? Okay, they do cross, actually. I'll check this out. And one, oh, I need the small transparent piece. I see it, it's in here. There we go. Alright. And finally, the steering wheel comes into play. Legos with made. Yeah, pretty much. I gotta say though, I'm really glad I decided to add the rain sound effects to this. Like, it just makes it a lot more peaceful. I can make it windy. It's very subtle. Okay, and then I have to like, uh... Oh, okay, so that piece goes... Is it? Oh, it's in the probably the small pieces. 
Like, I don't want to take the small pieces out of the bag, because I always have the small pieces, the possibility of those slipping out. So, yeah. We'll keep them in the bag for now. Maybe until we get, like, uh, there's not that many left, I'll take them out. But yeah, no, not bad. Okay. Okay, finally, these two long pieces come into play. Neat. Oh wait, can I... Uh, no, it's not really going to clamp down. And yeah, no, there's like a little bit of a space, I want to say. No, actually, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. They actually do clamp down. Really? Oh yeah, because there's... Apparently this area is a bit more elevated compared to right here. I, It, it doesn't really show up well on the camera, but you can kind of see the gap. Yeah. Did not realize that. Okay. okay. One and two. Okay, that stacks up right there. Alright, pretty neat. And we gotta add that. Hmm. So wait. Oh. What the fuck? What? Hold on. Okay, I guess nothing fell. That, that was odd. Okay, back to the building. Either that or my door might have opened. Which I didn't actually... Uh, maybe it did. Because that's a weird thing, though. With my current lock, uh, because the air conditioner is running, which... I don't know if you can really hear it. It's on low settings. Uh, yeah, it sometimes causes my door to open up weirdly. It's pretty much like the equivalent of like a ghost opening your already locked door. It's sometimes terrifying, and I have to like press down on the door a bit more. Alright. Well, oh. two yellow bricks. Okay, apparently I missed uh, a part from the previous instruction. Apparently, I gotta like, take another two, one by two, and then add that there. Yep. I forgot about that. There you go, that's nice. Okay, and then we got the two bricks. Oh yeah, so... Okay, this is interesting. There's two, uh, I want to say they're like teal type of colors. Uh, there's teal or something. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know, some sort of bluish green piece. And we gotta add those on the side. And add one of these in the front. Up behind the wheel. I always like the colorful pieces they always like from the inside. Always nice. Mm hmm Like actually funny thing, I listen to like a lot of like those shorts talking about like did you know this with Lego? And yeah, how they would like with certain pieces or different like uh, colors out of the ordinary in like the insides of the sets. I think a while back we did like a brick head and so it's like with the brick heads they put like a pink uh, brick inside which is like supposed to be the brain. I 
Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not doing this right. I'm doing this like the complete opposite of right. I'm doing this wrong. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, okay. This way. Ah, gotta make them fit. Yeah, something I noticed with Lego sets—they always like fit. There is never any like gaps. Yeah. Are we done with this piece? Okay, we're actually done with this. So I'm gonna. Maybe, like, leave this aside right there. Hey, customers can see it. Alright, next piece. Uh, black pressure plate. Wait, and then some of these. That aside. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, I did this the wrong angle. God dang it. Again, this is my second mess up. It's going to be rough, especially if I mess up and actually put like a one of these flat pieces right here. It's going to be a pain. But luckily, I think I got a brick separator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like one from like a pretty old stream. Can I grab it? Ugh, I don't think I can. Ugh. Okay, I got it this thing. Apparently this brick separator is rare. Because most of the time they come in the color orange. Yeah. So... I guess I got a rare brick separator. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. So I need two of uh, these interesting pieces because there's no there's like studs on one side and no studs on the other. Pretty flat. Yeah, you can see that better in that lighting. Hmm. Okay. These go on the side and a yellow two by two. The middle. Sweet. Flip it over and okay, that's interesting. I need oh this oh that's an interesting piece. Okay, okay, so it's flat. You can see how flat it is, and then okay, it reminds me of the circle ones, but it's like a flat square. I've never seen one like this before. Honestly, there we go. Uh, oh, I need one of these again. Flip it around and put this right here to where it actually fits. Then, am I working on the bumper of the car, I think? I think I am, actually. Yeah, this looks like the bumper of the car. So it's like, once you introduce, like, this piece, you're either going to have, like, a license plate or something on it. I don't know. Okay. So then next, I'm going to need one of these. And this single gray piece. In the middle. Oh yeah, and then... where is it? Also, thank you Tolerable for all the stretch and redeems. Ugh. Don't know how I can really get up and stretch. Okay, I definitely need... wait, what do I need back here? Oh right, I'm still working on this. Uh, hmm. Okay. I need one of these. Hmm. 
Oh, and then I have to, like, fit? This goes like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, it does fit like this. There we go. I still got a couple more pieces to go through. Mm, oh. Gotta add this right here. Wait, okay, it's supposed to connect the two. Snap those together. Okay, the last yellow brick in the back. Oh, and then I need this hand piece in the front. Am I trying to make the seating? I don't know, it looks like it. Mm hmm. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and then I need like two of those blue studs. Shit. Oh no. Uh, uh, my apron didn't actually save it this time. Uh, no. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Okay. Got it. Make sure my apron can just continue catching pieces for me. There we go. Alright, I still have this one right here. Sweet. All right. Mm -hmm. oh. See, this is why this is why my I got my apron. How to fit this piece? Oh, man, this is piece is not fitting in. There we go. Now it does. Really gotta like wedge it in between these two. Okay, uh, I was gonna say, uh, I, I was looking back at this trying to make sure I didn't get it the wrong way, otherwise, this would have been a pain to pry open, even with the brick opener. Okay. Sweet. Mm, okay, I think I need those gray pieces from this. And, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. There we go. Mm, okay, back to this. We need a few more pieces from this, actually. Here it is. There's like two similar pieces. It doesn't help that those bags filled with a bunch of two by two or one by twos. Or one by ones. Okay, here I go. Two of those. And just going a bit onto the next page, it seems like I'm going to need what, what is that? Like a gauge? 
counter thing. I see it. It's a very tiny stud. Uh huh. And I need like two of these teal pieces. There we go. Alright. Have these two right here. Oh, okay. There we go. And yeah. The cable being pulled. Okay, never mind. Mm. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's two in here? Oh, there is. Oh, that's an interesting place. Now, that would go in the front. But no, this actually goes on the side. So I actually have to connect these. Right there. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Okay, now we're actually kind of working on the side of the cars. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need these, like, two looking... I want to say that these pieces were also used for gold. But they dyed a different color. Oh yeah, yeah these are definitely Lego gold pieces. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a, there you can see in the light, there's like a tiny bit of an indent. Yeah, there you go. You can see. It's like a tiny bit of an indent, so they're like, uh, I think these were like used as gold bricks. But this time they decided to repurpose them for the sides of this car. And I think they were more thicker now that I think about it. I think they tuned down the thickness. I'll thank you, Pawn, for the squat redeems. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, let me check. Eh. The bonus one. Okay, so I need four of those actually, so there's a lot more in the here than what it seems. Mm. Really? Is there more in here? Okay, I'm not seeing it. I gotta like. Really? I I'm gonna actually op uh, separate these pieces. They're not, there's not that many. But really, there's more of these? Oh, there is more of these. Mm hmm. Spare parts, maybe? No, not spare parts. I, I need four, so I currently got. You can see customers see. I got like three right here. Uh, like you see, I keep confusing them with the two by twos. That's why. Oh, here it is. Honestly, the only spare part I'm seeing is this gauge right here. I don't even see it's like a tiny gauge counter. Okay. There you go. I got what I need. Gonna attach this right here to there. Click. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Wait. What's that p oh okay, this piece. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then 
could attach that to the wait. Huh? Is there a layer I'm missing? Oh yeah, there's a layer I'm missing. These two pieces right here. When was that? How many instructions was this ago? Oh wow, I missed that. Really? Huh. I, f I added these two, but missed the one in the middle. Okay. I'm about to put these on the wrong side. There we go. Okay. That was looking pretty clean, honestly. And then I could just actually have these layer on top. I appreciate the detailed instructions in these. Okay, and then we actually make use of uh, these pieces. Hmm. Oh. Uh, this piece popped off. God dang it. I think it's actually supposed to connect. Oh, and this piece popped off. Wonderful, everything's breaking. Alright. No, no, it has to be this way. There we go. Uh -huh. Alright. Then I need this unique piece. I think we're working on the front bumper of the car. Mm hmm. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Let's uh, put that aside. Hmm. Okay. Last of these gray pieces. Wait. Ah, okay. You know, if we have time tonight, maybe after this piece I'll grab something else. We'll do another special Lego set. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there's another- oh, okay, there is actually another one. Okay, you actually double this? Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, and then you just... Where, where did this stick on the- oh, okay. Stick this on the front. Right there. Fits perfectly. Alright, and we continue building with this. Last hand piece. Right here. There. Alright. And then these two front tire pieces kind of go in the front. There we go. Oh, hey Superfuds, thanks for the subscription. I don't think I have the notifications on this, but yeah. You, I really tend to get into it later on in the build, so like right now I'm in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, single piece here. One of that, one of that, one of that. One of these. And two of these. Sweet. So apparently we need to attach this to this. How are you? I'm doing swell. Surprisingly, I am actually speeding through this build right now. Yeah, you know like people get guitar and they or play that pff, not get guitar, they play guitar and they have like those I don't know what it's called, like callus or whatever on the fingers. I feel like the you would get that by pressing your or get something similar like that, pressing your fingers to the studs. I don't know what you would call that. And we add these two pieces. Yay. 
Okay, that works out pretty swell. Mm. I gotta do this twice? Okay. You know, instead of them telling me to do this two times, they have like two separate pages for the exact same thing, but actually, no, the opposite side. I'm just gonna actually stick this one. Okay, we're working on the, the headlights. So that's pretty cool. It was pretty cool because like we just got done finishing one uh, one Spider-Man vehicle, so now we're working on another Spider-Man vehicle. Yeah. Okay, so I need this one, this one. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I'd say just stay tuned because we might actually have time for another thing. I forgot Spider-Man had vehicles. Oh man, did he? Like heck, uh. What was it Japanese Spider-Man had like those uh what was it? Yeah, he had like a whole mecha. In fact, he was the first one to have a mecha before the Power Rangers was a thing, aka Super Sentai in Japan. Yeah. Funny enough. I think yeah, I think it was called the Leo Pa Leo Leopadra. I would love if they made a Lego set of that. Oh man, like Lego, I don't know, I don't care how you do it. Just be able to work with the Toei company somehow. Isn't the original Japanese the original Sentai hero? Technically, yes. Yeah, technically. I mean, he was the first one to have like a, I guess, I guess you call it the West Mechazor or the Mecha. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I mean, honestly, it would still be cool, though. Especially if they had an exclusive Lego Japanese Spider-Man. I guess Japanese Spider-Man minifigure. I mean, all it needs is, like, a custom headpiece. Just so they can have, like, the squinty eyes. Alright. And we gotta add two of these. Oh, okay, just on the front. Like this. There we go. And then these go at the ends. Okay, we're actually going going through this pretty slow. All right, we're almost done with half of this vehicle, or at least half of the first bag. I still got one more bag. Okay, and then I need two of these pieces. On the side? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. I'm li I'm liking the symmetry here. It's mm, it's beautiful. And then we stack this in the front. Really? Oh, well, that interesting. Okay, there is a gap. Next model you should build without instruct. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. I'm a maid that likes to follow instructions. Heck, I follow instructions when it comes to making food sometimes because I get these meal kits and, like, they give me instructions. And it's like, okay. Yeah, I got it. It'll be fine. Eh, not really. A blindfolded Lego stream? I wouldn't be able to see the pieces. No shame. <laughs> oh, great, great. All the customers are here to shame me. Hmm. Hey, hey, customers, look. A perfect fit. See, look at this. Look how perfect this fit is. Look at that. See? I don't know if you can really see. Perfect. A five head smart maid. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, wait, I need two of these pieces. Oh, here it is. Two of these and. Okay, so. Okay, so. Wait, 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 wait. 
This one goes in the front. Like the okay, yep, like that. Two of these. Yes. I tell you, like the small pieces always get a bit a bit of a struggle to fit in. Like I'm always afraid of them flicking out. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, uh, is that it? Oh wow, they have so many leftover pieces. Wait, what? Really? But the, these are so many leftover pieces. Are you sure? Did I even make use of those? Hold up a moment. Did it not make use of these? No, wait, they did. Oh shit, I didn't even... I, I did. Okay, it did. Holy smokes. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did I mess up here? There's supposed to be a gap? Wait a moment. Oh Christ. Did I mess up? I messed up. Holy shit, I actually have to bring this thing into the place. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing actually works pretty good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So apparently I messed up here. I have to put these black pieces. Oh. The customers call me a smart maid. I've never felt so scatterbrained until this moment during this build. Holy shit. I knew they had gave me too many spare pieces. Usually they leave the tiny ones as spares. Okay, okay. I think the rest of the build is fine, though. I'm surprised I actually had to put this thing to actual good use. Alright, I think we're done here. Yep. We're actually done here. With this half. I'm just going to leave it right there. Actually, no, I'm going to have to sort through the pieces, so... Leave that to the side. Okay, I guess I guess gotta store these pieces over here in the corner. Yeah. Okay. It's time for bag number two. Three. This piece. I've never seen a clear plastic piece like this. Alright, well, it's time for Mr. Morbin. Yep. It is Morbin time. Okay, they both had black legs. This is hair piece. Oh, here it is. You know, funny thing, I've actually only seen like half of that movie. Yep. Funny enough. Okay, I need to get the, the cup. So wait, he has like two cups? Apparently. 
But yeah. I still find it hilarious how the fact that people actually thought the hype was real for the movie. And so they decided to rebroadcast it in theaters again, just for them to not make that many sales. Oh man. That is hilarious. Okay, so we got some interesting studs. Got this one without a stud. And this stud with a stud. I gotta double the studs up. On this cup. And then any purple ones. So yeah. There we go. So wait, okay, so this facing up I have to like apply the stud? Oh that actually does does it fit? Oh actually wow, it actually does fit pretty snug. Okay, then not no. I thought it would be the other way around. Huh. Oh that actually does lock on. Look at that. That's great. Alright. I don't know what the purple's like. I, I get it. I get it. The red stuff is supposed to be blood, but I don't know what this purple stuff is supposed to be. <laughs> what, did he decide to like put some flavor or something in the mix with the blood? I don't understand, Mr. Morbius. Now, I don't even understand enough why you hold this upside down. I guess they're supposed to be like vials or what is it? I I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that kind of works. It's like those uh, test tubes or whatever. And then he comes with two bats, which kind of sucks. The fact that he can't really attach them here. Like they're just kind of like separate on their own. Maybe I'll we'll attach it to the car or something. So yeah, we got Spider-Man, Mr. Morbius, and his two bats. There's some space over here. Move those aside. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, are we continuing the car build? Oh yeah, we are actually. Oh sweet. So, gotta add that. I decided to do his work while fighting people. I mean, isn't his work uh, involving fighting people? I, I, I don't know. He's, he's like a it's like Dracula, right? He sucks people's blood. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's neat, actually. Oh, yo, ch customers, check this out. No stickers, just printed on. Mm, I love that. I love that. I, I love the fact that when we get printed on pieces and it's not a bloody sticker. Ah, uh, slapping that on right there. Back in my days, we put. I hated stickers. I did not like them. You don't understand. You had to be like so precise. <laughs> and it's like you got it wrong. Oh no, let me try to unpeel. Oh no, I ripped it. Oh no, it's ruined. Just. Ah. Uh, don't like it. Don't like stickers. <laughs> That's why you are a miserable... I'm not that old. What are you, what are you talking about? You know, I find, wait, hold on. I just noticed something. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed. On this instruction booklet, there's a little Mile Morales just running across. <laughs> Look at that. You see, you see that? Like, he's on one side. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Look at him go, chat. Oh, he, he's moving. He's moving. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, that's actually pretty fun. Yo, props to the people who make this instruction booklet. Like, despite the fact that your cover looks so s simple, plus simplified, that's actually pretty neat. I like that. Man. This is why I was like so bummed out with the Lego Mario sets and why they just didn't have instructions. Because, man, they could have been so creative with that. Like, making like the style of like the Mario games or whatever. And just like have the Lego stuff in the background. But yet again, those are kind of like a build it yourself kit, I guess. Alright. Uh, I forgot to add the two red pieces. It's like a triangle. There we go. Alright. Mm, oh, wrong, is that the wrong side? That is the wrong side. I have to use the brick separator. Again, just gotta like wedge it right underneath that. Really? Oh wait, I'm putting it the wrong way. I'm, I'm, an, I'm being an idiot right now. I actually gotta go this way. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then I need another triangle. Okay, this is actually looking kind of funky. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, kind of like this. I don't know why, this like uh, design or something reminds me of something from Valorant. Okay, and I need like one single Lego bar piece. There we go. Okay, and we're actually working on the back wheels. Okay, so they're, they're a different color compared to the red ones in the front, if you customers see. Okay. Neat. Uh, so where does this one go? It just fits in the back? Just like that. Okay. Oh, and then you fit this piece right there. Then you get the tiny red pieces. Right there. Okay, that's pretty neat. I wasn't even looking at that part of the instruction. I, I just knew. You, you saw it, customers, right? This part was covered up. I, I saw you need these pieces. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I mean, I understand. They tend to keep these pieces close to each other when it comes to the build. And then gotta put these in the back. I'm really glad that, you know, the black pieces don't actually mix in with my table. They're a bit more darker, I've noticed. Which is nice. Because, yeah. I mean, the lighting also helps. There we go. Okay. This is looking pretty neat. I can already see the front of the car forming, 
And now we just gotta finish with the back. Uh, yeah. Honestly, with the time we got, we got time for like another one. I can probably grab in a bit. Is that right piece I need to grab? Or no. I need a... It's like an interesting corner piece. It's not in here? No, it's not. It's actually out here. Huh. Okay, I need four of these. I'm to figure out where all four of them are. Ah. There they are. And then these have to go in the front? Wait. Oh, okay, they stack on top of this. Wait, and then I do need those bar pieces. Oh wait. Okay, I right like this. Ah. Why, why is this piece slipping off? Okay, there we go. Did it the wrong way. There. Oh. Okay, now I need. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so this is where, like, the bluish green and yellow tends to stick out in the car, I think. I don't know what these are supposed to be in the back, like spray cans or something? Like, I guess he did do graffiti art. So, yeah. Okay, I guess I'll leave these spray bottles in the back. Alright. Okay, and this is like a separate, so... What do I gotta do here? I need these Technic pieces. I need two of these... Single blue? Do not let that roll off. Two of these gray ones. And uh, one of these black ones. Sweet. Okay. So I gotta like stack these or no, I gotta like connect one. Okay, I'm afraid of this thing falling. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, I need the two of the blue ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to attach the other side with the X. Uh, okay. Are these supposed to separate? Why is this not going in this hole? There we go. Huh. Okay. Oh, I need to attach these. Mm hmm. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I 
Alright, this attaches to the back of the car, it seems? How? Oh, with these two studs. Uh-huh. It is not fitting. Okay, there we go. I had to, like, push it a little bit back. Oh, thank you for all the stretcher deems. <clears throat> and the hydrate. And the tell a funny joke. Lego jokes. Okay. I, I have to, like, look one up. Uh, what do you do if someone doesn't like your Lego joke? Block them. Yeah. Alright. Wait for the posture check and the whole get up and stretch here. I'll try doing it here. Yeah. And also the hydrate. These entities are interesting. What do you get when you cross a snake with a Lego? A boa constructor. Okay, so yeah, this piece kind of like moves up and down. I'm guessing that's going to be a way to open the back of the car. Or maybe actually it might be for like uh, this piece right here. Okay, so... Okay, I need two of these. And wait, it attaches in the back? Huh. Do these even attach? Oh no, I'm supposed to attach it in the... Okay, I thought I had to attach it to a Technic pieces, which I know it's not possible. Okay. And then I have to, like, create some really cool layering effect right here. Which consists of, like... Okay, I'm gonna need, like, two of each. Oh, is that a red? Oh, I need a red. Okay, you know, I really do like uh, these, uh, I don't know what they call it, like cr like uh, transparent color pieces. Because I remember back then they used to have like these uh, original Lego sets that were called like, I think, Power Miners or something like that. And I always liked them because they had these cool little crystal pieces and they made so much good use of them. With like these little rock characters and stuff like that. It was cool. I, I wish they had come up with like some more original cool ideas like that, but nowadays it's like they just mainly focus on brands and licensing, you know, just whatever they can, which is cool though, because we get some cool properties and stuff like that. And yeah, I think Sonic recently got a couple of cool Lego sets. So yeah. In fact, we recently uh, finished Sonic Frontiers uh, a few days ago in the cafe. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, it was a cool game, but I looked into it, and yeah, the ending was totally rushed. So who knows, maybe I'll check out the next update whenever it comes out, where you can actually play as more characters. There we go. Okay, I got, got these... There's a cool layered effect, if you can kind of see it with the lighting. Yeah. Okay, so these fit, like, in the back. Pretty swell. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Neat. Alrighty. We're actually almost done.
You can tell because he's almost at the end. <laughs> All right. So wait, I'm, I'm okay. The, st I'm still working with the back of the car here. Need the last two of these pieces and stick it to the side. Oh, okay. Sweet. We're finally covering up the, all this internal insides. Wonderful. There we go. Now this build is looking a lot more cleaner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and these two attach from this end. In the middle. Wow. Hmm. That is actually pretty tight. Alright, and oh, are we actually working on the projectiles? I didn't even know this car had them. Okay, back to this little bag of goodies. Okay, so we need those. Okay, apparently there's like a square version of these one by ones. Need two of these, two of that, just uh, two of these. That's a really specific piece, honestly. Wait, what? Oh, these are supposed to stick at the bottom? Huh. This looks like a little saw blade. Like, I know you can't really tell what it looks like, but, I don't know, maybe from a distance. It looks like a tiny saw blade. Okay, this is going to get a little bit funky because, yeah, with this piece, apparently you're supposed to take this, facing the bigger side, and then just stick this in here. Oh, that just clicks in perfectly. Wow. And then with that, you gotta like... I need one of these. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay, it's supposed to fit like this. And I have to do that twice. Come on. Oh wait, no, wrong side, I think. Yep, wrong side. Yep, there we go. Wow. Where do these go? In the back? But, uh, oh. Really? Okay, so with, like, okay, so weird like right here huh. okay oh I'm working on the oh okay oh I see now oh I see the customer see it's like two launchers are the people on studs wait really no okay no you gotta look. okay because I saw studs on the previous next instructions, but no, apparently I just need to put some, I guess, backplating. Yep. Oh, I need four of them. Then I need a. Oh, I see. So you have it's some cool lightning effect coming out of the car. I really like these blue lightning effects. Honestly. Wait, 
there's actually an actual side you can attach these to. Oh, I see. There we go. That's neat. Oh, and apparently there's actually a bigger one. Which apparently belongs to this piece. Wheel. Wow. Okay, this car actually sticks out a whole lot with this. Damn. Okay, then. You know, this, you know this piece would actually make good? Like a laser sword or something. Yeah. Especially when we were on topic about the Leopardrin from Japanese Spider-Man. Okay, here we go. So. I need one of these. Uh, these two. Oh, and then I need those, uh, where is that? Those axle pieces. Okay. And I put these parts. No, I put them on the right side. Never mind. Whew, that was a close one. Okay. I need to grab the last two pieces from here. Okay, they actually fit. Okay, not bad. You know, the, the more I'm looking at the, how much progress, the more I'm really liking this car, actually. I mean, minus these parts that kind of like stick out a bit too much, but eh, they, they can just be removed later. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't eat anything off. I think locked it in. Okay, that, okay. I forgot what this part of the car is actually called. Uh, like a something fender, or whatever. Customer, see what I'm talking about? I forget what this is called in the back of like a racing car. Arr. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh shit! This is, a, this is a piece. Oh, this is like an armor-like piece, probably. Uh, a fender, it's a bit. Fender's a bit around the wheel. Oh, okay. Uh, so, wait, what, what is this called? Some sort of brace or something. Fin on the back is called. Ah, oh, spoiler, right. That was the name. Thank you. Okay, cool. But yeah, this honestly looks like. Uh, you can kind of see like the layers. This looks like some sort of armor piece. Let me put this on. Oh, does that. Oh, wow, that just fits in. Okay. Not bad, doesn't feel that loose. And how does this fit in? Oh, there's no oh there's no opening, really? Oh it just pop it really just pop it in and out okay. You know, when I was building some like Lego Batman Batmobiles, they didn't have they ha actually had like an opening for this thing to open. That knocks a point off to of this. Not gonna lie, but it's a pretty clean design overall. Oh hey, heck, we're actually finally <laughs> going down to the wheels finally. Sweet. Come on. Uh, I think I'm putting them in the wrong way. Nope. There we go. You know, my sleeves are actually coming in handy this time, chat. That way I don't actually press too much against my hands. It's like trying to open a jar with a rag. 
And let me tell you, actually, one time I was trying to open the jar with the rag, it took too long. I had to, like, use, like, a butter knife or something to, like, I don't know, try to pry open the jar. It did work after a little bit, but boy, that took too long. And I was just trying to get some jelly for a sandwich. Oh. How, how how are kids supposed to do this? Are they just supposed to like ruin their fingers and have it like pressed like just up against it? I don't get it. You might as well make plastic wheels at that point. But I guess rubber has some good traction. Ah, okay, there we go. That's no, not fully in. Okay, well, I used I used a spoon as a kid. Uh, do I have anything else like a spoon? Oh, how about how about this companion cube? Yeah. If you use the back of a spoon and press down on the hub. Ah, that worked, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it worked. Surprisingly. Thank you, Companion Cube. You are a good companion. You put it on. Put it on the desk, you goof. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> uh. Okay. Holding onto the wheels just makes it harder on yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was like uh, putting on my uh, thigh, and yeah. Okay. I gotta say, I think they do this just to have like uh, them the colors stick out. That's something I'm starting to notice with these wheels. Or with some parts while I'm doing, like working on the inside of the car. Can't keep everything as a single color. This ain't no Gundam. So yeah. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna have to attach more stuff. Okay, yeah, it is a stud shooter. <laughs> okay. I'll be right about that. Oh, that's cool. All right. We're almost done with this. Okay, now we're done. So yeah, we finished Miles Mobile. <laughs> Yeah, Miles Mobile. <laughs> See, it's he's from the Spider Verse where everyone is cars. Yeah, that's my canon event for this car. All right, I, I should probably put the studs in it. So, wait, how does this work? The stud shooter. Obviously, I'm not gonna shoot it because these pieces are. I'm, I'm never gonna see them again. Just like, oh, and then okay, I see the lever kind of goes up, and then you can like shoot it. Interesting. But I'll just keep them loaded. You get a bunch of extra pieces though. I've never actually had anything with a stud shooter, so this is pretty new to me. Not even any of the Batman sets had stud shooters. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh, accidentally. Oh, okay, accidentally broke these pieces off. Hmm. So, yeah, not bad. Man, what are even these pieces over here, though? Like, I got so many extra of these blue pieces. Like, where are these supposed to be? Spider handcuffs? Did they even tell me in the instruction manual? No, they do not. Nope, okay. So I'm just gonna presume these are like spider handcuffs. I guess these are supposed to be the equivalent of his Venom Blasters. Okay, that's interesting. It's just the fact that they don't tell me. But obviously they got this, the parts listed. Yeah, I think these are supposed to be like web cuffs from what it looks like. What else do we got here? We got some... Tiny webs? I guess? Yeah. Hmm. I connect these. Yeah, but I would need like another stud. Actually, there, there's an extra in here. Size for home. <laughs> what? Okay, there we go. And it doesn't really fit that well, honestly. And speaking of exercise, let's take an exercise bike I actually have to build. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that live on stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave all these extra pieces in here. I'll just put the bats on the top of the car. That looks cool. And yeah, I guess I could leave Miles in the vehicle. I'll be able to have this with them. Honestly, there's a lot of space in this. Like, look at that. See, see look how much room it, it is. God damn. <laughs> you look so small in it. all over the car. Wow. Oh my god. <gasps> Spider-Man, Morbius is morbid all over your car. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I'll get these, I'll grab these extra pieces. There's a lot of extra little pieces. There's always the little pieces that are the extra ones, I tell you. Oh shit. There we go. I kind of wish they had a back that opened, honestly. Like, I, I guess technically this opens up, but I can't really put much in it now that I think about it. Maybe like a, a single web. I put like the web blasters back there. Not really. Okay, I kind of got that stuck. Mm, surprisingly, that actually fits. I fit another web back there. 
Yeah, I think so. Mm. Nah, kinda. Kinda fits. Not really. Okay. There we go. That is neat. That is wonderful. So yeah, those were two Lego Spider-Man sets. We got the Spider-Man with his spider glider that we did earlier, and then we got <laughs> Miles Morales with his Miles Mobile plus Yeah, Spider Spider Glider and Miles Mobile. <laughs> uh, that's neat. I, I, I actually like this. Mm-hmm. Kind of funny because I think a while back on another stream, we actually uh, had a what, what was it? We actually worked on another Spider-Man set where he had like a little buggy vehicle and it was the Sandman. It was great. I think I uploaded that vod a while ago. Spider Bite. Oh yeah, right. Wasn't he named like Spider Bite in like this one other TV show, a cartoon? Yeah, I think I remember that. I think there was another one. He was called like Spin. And yeah. Now it's like Spiderman. Okay, I'm just gonna put Morbius and Morbin <laughs> all on top of uh, Miles' car. There we go. Look at, look at him, he's, he's Morbin. <laughs> he's really Morbin on that car, I tell you. Alright. Well, that's it for this Lego set. That was great. Thank you, customers, for joining me with these two Spider Man sets.